Hey everyone, welcome back to Shantae in the Pirate's Curse Let's Play. So, in the last part, we managed to get the map of the Forbidden Islands, and using that we can go and we go back to Risky Boots and uh, see what she has to say this time. Well, what took you so long? I found this at the library, a map of the Forbidden Islands, just like you said. Uh, I get I guess the little good for nothing is good for something after all. So, will you let me help? Only if you agree to do exactly what I say when I say it. The Pirate Master is my photo to contend with, not yours. And when this is over, we go our separate ways. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... It's a deal, let's beat that guy together to save Sequinland. Hold on. How do I know you won't pull a fast one? Would I lie to you? Would I lie to you? Say hello to the steam-powered oceanic tinker tub Mark II. Mark II? What happened to the first one? You happened to it. Get on board before I change my mind. And there we go. We are now in the overworld. So we can actually go to the first new area which is saliva island um we can also see how many heart squids and cackle bats are available so there is two we will be able to get both but not all the heart squids again metroidvania style game which implies backtracking and a lot of it this is it saliva island unless we can find another map this is the end of the line i'm ready for anything where did you get those clothes? Below deck, there's all kinds of fun stuff to wear. Most of the clothes were too roomy though. Stay away from my personal effects. Gosh, I've never been so far from the mainland, it's pretty here. Don't be deceived, the Pirate Master draws power from this place. There's a den of evil hidden somewhere on this island. You're going to find it. What about you? You're not coming? Not this time. But I'm sure if we work together... I said no and I meant it. I have my reasons. Oh, I see. You're scared. How dare you? I will gut you like a mackerel. Sheesh. Learn to take a joke. And get out of that silly outfit. Aw, you're no fun. I'm ready. Okay, so now we gotta start. So, this area is actually really annoying. Um because of this frog enemy that jumps around. I don't know why I always get hit by it. Luckily, we can pick up bubble shields, which are used to reflect projectiles, which is the whole problem about these stupid frogs. They bounce around and they shoot a bubble with a skeleton fish. I don't know. And, well, these guys aren't too hard. No, we won't be able to get this hard squid till quite a while, so... We'll be get, able to get in this episode, but not till like the very end. Assuming I can even get that far. I guess I do like the song of uh, Saria. You can actually go through here, I think. Or you can go through some area as a little shortcut, but... It puts you in an area with a lot of enemies, so it's really hard to not get hit, so... I thought he actually killed that enemy. Yeah, they tend to disappear. So yeah, this episode is going to be pretty interesting. There's a conversation I'm not really looking forward to reading out, so... Uh, am I going the right way? No. Well, I am, but I want to show one thing first. So if we head down, trying not to get hit, because, you know, that's a thing. We're gonna find another little passage we can go through. And I don't know if I showed it last time, but uh, we actually do have access to a map to see where we've been, so that's pretty helpful. I've never figured out what any of the things mean, though. And there's that contraption again. I wonder how it works. Well, we'll find out. So if we head to the right here, we're gonna talk to this uh, old gentleman. Many years ago, I came to this island with my beloved bride-to-be. 
Her only wish was to be joined in holy matrimony. But a horrible monster, a servant of the Pirate Master, found us. His gaze turned my beloved to stone. <sighs> I can never leave her side. Here, take this ring so that I can finally forget my sorrows. Gee, it looks pretty old. Okay. And actually, yeah, we actually do have to collect that ring. So, we weren't just taking a detour for plot convenience, but we actually do need to go down there. Because once we proceed up here, we're going to come across these little statues. In the middle, we can put the ring. And once we do that, we can actually hit the statues and they'll rise up for a bit. And then we have to do some precision platforming. But we're not quite ready for that. Because we gotta save with the, the cool hat wizard old man dude. And actually, I believe the continent is called Sequinland, not Sequinland. Uh, thank you, Tyler, for that correction. <laughs> I probably should have known, but uh, let's go talk to these two. Come on. Okay, there we go. Hey, girl. Cute cat up. You here for spring break? Huh? Us too, but look at this lame swimming hole. It's all dried up. I can't sunbathe without a proper pool. Shh. This place was a total ripoff. If you can't swim, we might as well eat. I'll get ham all set up. Okay, so, yeah. We can hit the ham and then get some aroma, which we can actually suck up to collect. The ham stink. So, that's actually really relevant. It's good to get that done beforehand. Or else what'll happen is you get you don't have that and you'll actually need it later on in the level and then you have to backtrack and do the whole level again. It's it's annoying. So now these platforms, if we kind of rise them all at the same time, they do descend at a quicker speed than some others. For instance, this one's always first, then it's I believe the one on the left. Then these two around the same time. So we want to make sure we hit uh, this one's third and this one last. Okay, come on. Okay, so that's one's last, so there we go. We have to do some tricky platforming. Uh, did I do this wrong? Oh, wait, never mind. I can just jump over here. Never mind, I totally know what I'm doing. More frog dudes. The problem with them is, like, they just jump everywhere, inconsistent, and, well, that's their little projectile. There's some, uh, uh dragon-like serpents that will pop out of the waterfall and bite ya. I always get hit by them because I'm not paying attention, or I'm just rushing, and, yeah. The bubble shield can come in handy here. I actually might as well use it because I'm running kind of low on health. And then the frog goes down there, just because. Wow. I call shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're so annoying. They're so unpredictable where they're gonna jump. But our bubble shield will be able to... Oh, it just bounces off. I thought it actually reflects attacks, but that would be asking for a little bit too much. And something before you really get too invested in this level, it might be recommended if you're going for all achievements to pick up a few extra spike balls. Because if you want to get an achievement, you will need a few of them. So there's two different ways to go. So it's really up is only the correct way. We'll be coming back here much later on. Or actually, I don't even know if we'll be going down there in particular, but... Maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, snakes fall from everywhere. There's like an infinite supply of them. It's great. So, we see this dude. But before we do that, uh, let's head down... Uh, do I want to heal right now? Mm, no. There's a cackle bat over here. Take care of him and hopefully not die. There we go. There, 
The two are actually right beside each other, so not too hard to find. Later on, there's going to be quite a few in a lot of the different areas. So now if we go up to the sign, it's a Giga Lamox. Wow, this thing's enormous. What's the sign say? Caution. Giga Lamox may become aroused by travelers smelling of ham. So we're going to release the ham stink. What's gonna happen? And yeah, that's what happens. Now, when falling down here, there's a little secret. Oh, not quite yet, actually. There is a secret on the left here. Our second cackle die, and there we go, that's all of them. Now watch me die here. Oh shoot, whoop. That was worrisome. And there we go, we got all the dark magic. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hey girl, you got the water turned on. Let's all hit the pool. You said it, girlfriend. What's this? My porcelain baby fresh skin is too much for the sun. Mine too, the light is bouncing off. Careful not to cross the beams. Oh my god, what am I reading? <laughs> and we got the petrify spell, so yeah, I'm really not too sure what's happened, but whatever. You did it! The pool is full again, and it smells like bath salt. The water is really warm and kind of viscous. Just, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how I say it. I don't know. Whatever, let's get out of here. We've got the clickbait for the episode, so... I can now proceed. So now that we have the Petrify spell, we can head back to the old man and see if we can help him out with his problems. Um... Might heal up, actually. Wait. Oh, okay. That was weird. But yeah, that one conversation was making me, like... Not really want to do this episode from reading out all the dialogue. <laughs> but we got it done, so... Yeah. Okay, back to the old man. You found something? God. Could it be? You found it, the spell that turned my beloved to stone. At long last, I can finally reverse its effects. Hush, my beloved, while I speak the sacred words. Ahem. Petrify. Uh... So clap. Whoopsies. I actually it's kind of sad to be honest that that happens like oh I finally found a cure oh rip and then they're both like destroyed too that's like pretty savage kind of funny too so in each of these like, little islands there's pretty much a few things we have to do to open up the den of evil which is pretty much the dungeon first one's not too long we'll be able to get it done this part and then there'll be a boss at the end. Snakes can be a good way of, you know, getting some health and all that, but it uh, doesn't help when you're getting hit by them. But they do become quite a bit of a pain in the ass. Because sometimes they fall from the sky and it's like, oh, there's a lot of snakes in here now. Anyways. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but the heart pieces only recover a fraction of her health. Only one-fourth, so there's the big ones that restore a full heart, but that's like very uncommon. And there's locked doors. There's a first heart squid, actually. There should be three, I believe, in here that we can get, but uh, yeah, they are not hard at all. At least I think they aren't. 
Maybe? Hopefully not. And there's quite a few areas where you can actually go through. And then we can get the Spittle Mace map. So now, if we go to our map, hey! I have my mouse. Oops. Let's pretend that wasn't a thing and hopefully that wasn't the whole episode. Okay, that was pretty weird. The mouse like suddenly appeared on my screen in the recording. Out of like nowhere. And then... It was only for a fraction of a second, so it should still be good. Hopefully. So there's a heart squid there. Um, it can be a little tricky sometimes to get. Not terribly though, so you can probably jump. Later on you will get an item that would actually make that one pretty much impossible to mess up. But uh, why, why not just get it now? So yeah, there's these little enemy dudes. So they can reflect your... Not reflect, but block your attacks when they're kind of standing still. So you want to attack either when he's just about to attack or when he's on his way of stopping. So. And there we go. It's not too hard. And with that, we get a key. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Pretty sure I can't remember where that last heart squid is. That's kind of worrying me now. <laughs> hmm. And you just have to walk into the door to use the key. It actually doesn't give you an option. Oh, here's the last one. So you might be wondering how to get it. Well, it's not terribly too hard, actually. Uh, just go to the other side. And so, oh, watch out for that crab. We can just go through and grab it. I didn't even really make it need to sound like it would be a confusing one to get, but whatever. Take a bit of a look around. We might notice this, but hey, we we can't hit the switch to make the the cage move. So how are we supposed to go around? Hmm. Well, proceeding to the bottom right, uh, there's a section we are able to explore. Actually, how are we supposed to get back? Oh, yeah, that one's... Actually, if you leave this one on, it actually moves that over there. It's, it's kind of a troll one. Well, I guess that's one way of getting back. I, you know, I asked a question, the, the game heard and answered it for me, so I mean... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, well... This is a little fire shooting dudes. I much forgot he was in there. Would've took some damage. Wow, I have four heart squids and I forgot to go to the, the squidsmith to upgrade my health. Good job, me. Okay. <laughs> I wonder why I was running out of health so much. The episode was run kind of long, so I'm like, oh, well. Anyways, so we got, uh... Risky's pistol, so... That took me a while to think of the name. Seeing the game just said it. But with it, we can actually shoot it. It's actually used as both an attack and for hitting those switches from away, which is nice. We can actually upgrade um, the pistol once we go back to the shop. It only does like one damage, so it's not too helpful. But hey, now we're able to get back. all this money's... Oh no, I don't want to go down there. Actually, that reminds me that sometimes, in some conditions, those uh, va uh, vases and jars can actually respawn, and you can use that to kind of get a lot of money. There's one world in particular that you go through this one door and it respawns them all, and you can actually 
pretty much got a l infinite money there. Although it's somewhat tedious, but I'll mention it when it comes up. Nice edge. Cool story. 11 out of 10. Actually, I think, yeah, these only take one hit, so we can actually use the gun on them. Oh, didn't even see him there. I'm gonna blame my microphone being in the way. That's my, this total scapegoat. Well, it's a good thing that didn't knock us back. That would have been pretty bad. And now there's two of them. You can actually use uh, the pistol. Oh god, I'm gonna die. But it's better if we can get them... Oh, I do not want to use an auto potion right now, so I will heal. But if you can get them in sync... Oh god. Oh god. Okay, they're in sync now. Okay. Never mind, I'm gonna die. By shooting at them and then they both go, it becomes a lot easier. Okay. And I'm gonna die again. This is why having three health is a lot better. Oh god, what have I done? This is so annoying. Okay, there we go. We got one of them. There we go. Jeez. Well, that wasted all their health. Items. So, yeah. Go with the Squidsmith before you do this, if you're following along. It, it's actually kind of relevant. No. Okay, there we go. Let's save because apparently, like, I don't apparently know what I'm doing. And yeah, here's the boss chamber, so. Yeah. Psychops plans. Frighteningly fixated flora. Interesting name. So this boss, there's two achievements, or three really. One for beating him, one for beating him without taking damage, and one for beating him only using the spike ball. So, it's not terribly hard you want to hit the- oh god. I totally jinxed myself. What am I doing? I okay. Why am I on the other s- uh... What am I even doing? Okay, let's try this again. It's not even hard. Okay, maybe slightly, but it's not terribly hard. So there's gonna be some eyes that we can hit, and then we can just shoot him from where we stand. We can also jump in him, but it's really easy to take damage that way. After hitting him twice, I believe, the eyes will hit, when they get hit, they'll actually raise the flower in the opposite side. That's why I was getting so confused, since I was used to that happening. And for the spike ball, you can kind of just jump with the spike. Now he's going to bounce around, but you can actually just stay in the corner and just fire. Um. I learned a lot of this from actually, I can't remember which guide in particular had it. Um, maybe I can link it in the description on this video. Because the way I'm doing the boss, I didn't come up with it myself. He should be fine in the corner, and when you're behind him when he shoots his laser, you can just kill him. So yeah, that's how you do it without taking damage. Tinkerbats here. Hey, 
Hey, get back here, you. What's this? He dropped something. And we get a map to the next area. Spiderweb Island. Oh yeah. I did it! The Pirate Master won't be able to draw power from this place anymore. I better go tell Risky. And yeah, now that we have Risky's pistol though, what we can actually do is hit that switch and now we can actually get the heart squid. And not actually have to run climb to run all the way back, which is also really good. So now we can actually get two heart pieces. So let's do that before I end up forgetting. And before I like die again to the frogs. Because it's, it's gonna happen. You certainly took your sweet time. I found something, an evil dungeon and a giant monster and... Where did you get that pistol? I found it locked up in a chest, why? Never mind, anything else? The silent map, one of your Tinkerbats dropped it. He hadn't transformed yet. Interesting. That suggests that the Pirate Master doesn't have enough dark magic to go around. Which means we still have time to prevent his return. Climb aboard. We're off to the next island. Okay, well we're not going to the next island quite yet. And then just to show there's like four other islands, so. Now if we head back, you can see the towns being changed, they're starting to be rebuilt. Um, but let's actually go and get some health because I totally forgot to do that. Skettle Town Squid Smith at your service. I take a durable little heart squids and melt them down to make more health for you. Ready to forge some heart holders? Here we go. There, your max shards have increased by one. And we can even do it again, I think. And there we go. There you have four heart, heart piece holders now. And check the item shop. So let's see. Um, so we can do a pistol tune-up, but we'll get to the cream first because the pistol is nice, but I think upgrading attacking a bit faster with our main, you know, method of attack is probably the better call. And with that, we have done everything we're going to do in this part. In the next one, we're going to go to the new island. And it's been a while since I did that, so it's not kind of fresh in my memory. But um, see you then.